Hey guys, Dennis here. As a last step for putting my engine back together and uh, fixing the head gasket and everything, I'm flushing the coolant system finally. There's a lot of different ways to do it I've, that I've seen online and um, a popular way is to use a garden hose to just kind of flush it out with tap water. And a lot of people say that's bad because the minerals in the tap water, they don't fully get flushed out. So then you have to follow it with distilled water or something. So I haven't seen this done, so that's why I'm filming it. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm flushing with tap water with the garden hose, and then I'm sucking it all out with the shop vac, because it's really easy to just bring the garden hose inside the shop here and put a bucket, big Rubbermaid bin down here, to collect the coolant, but then uh, flushing it out with distilled water would be a real pain, so I'm using a shop vac, and I'll show you what I did. So first, I've disconnected the top and bottom of the radiator, those hoses. So that one's down here. And I believe normally coolant flows into the top of a radiator, comes out the bottom and then up through the, the engine and such. So to back flush it, we'll want to squirt water down this way through the engine and it will come out the hose down there. Now in between there, there is a thermostat and it's down in here, it's hard to see, but I did have to remove that because cold, the thermostat shuts. So you want to take that out so that the, the coolant can, can flush through. And then I just put the hose back on without a gasket just so that I didn't get water all over the floor and I can kind of direct it into this tub. So I'm just squirting water down in through here. Two-handed, I don't get so much leaking. But anyway, it ends up coming down here. I don't know if I put enough in. Oh, yeah, the, you know the reason it's not coming out yet. <laughs> I'll show you then what I'm doing. So then when I'm done, I got my shop vac, and I just gonna I'll just put it over this hose here and turn it on. And you can feel the air getting sucked through the system, so it's going to suck out any remaining uh, tap water that's, that's sitting in there. So I also did the heater core and hooked up a, a hose there to flush that out and that's going through the system and then coming out the same bottom hose down here into my tub. And this is seem, seems to work pretty well. Um, I'm also going to flush the radiator by putting the garden hose here, running it through, and then same thing, I'll uh, suck out the extra water with the vacuum. So I just thought I'd uh, show you guys this because I haven't seen it done before. So it might be uh, a good method you want to try in your, in your own uh, backyard shop or whatever. <laughs> I try to post videos that people haven't done before and um, show new spins on things or new ideas that I have. And I googled this and I looked on YouTube and I haven't seen anyone do it before. So this is the kind of stuff I like to post. If you're interested in that, you might want to subscribe. You might want to hit the bell next to the subscribe button that lets you get notified when I post videos and also gets you included in the community. If you have any comments on doing this or if you've tried this yourself, uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, all right, and if you like this video, thumbs up. All right, we'll see you next time.